We approach the 4th of July. Swim, safety, sunscreen, bug bites likely on your radar. But there's one bug the size of a poppy seed, actually, whose bite could wreak some havoc on your health. A North Texas mother and daughter on a mission to spread awareness about a misunderstood disease they never imagined would impact their family. Good job, Claire! Whether she was cycling, swimming, or running, Claire Maxwell was unstoppable. Good job! I love being on the triathlon team. The young athlete went from placing in triathlons to missing months of school. I would always be nauseous, I'd always be throwing up. Just kind of getting more and more tired. The Maxwell saw more than a dozen doctors, but had no answer for the debilitating symptoms yeah, impacting Claire yeah. and her sister Catherine. I kept saying something is wrong. I know something is wrong. These are not, this is not normal. After three frustrating years, her daughters were finally diagnosed with Lyme disease. For Claire, the battle has been particularly tough. I took her to the cardiologist and said I'm ready to have her hospitalized, and that's how bad things were. Maxwell now believes the girls were bitten by ticks the family dogs brought into the house. I grew up in the Northeast. I didn't think there was Lyme's disease in Texas. This is the black legged tick that I was telling you about. So that's the one that we most commonly see here in Texas. In Texas, there's a misconception this is a Northeast problem. Christina Thomas is with the North Texas Poison Center. We definitely do see cases of Lyme disease. 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are documented in the U.S. annually, but studies suggest the real number of cases is closer to 300,000. So this one says, I went misdiagnosed for four years. Together, Dr. Maxwell, an associate professor at UT Dallas, and Claire have launched the Texans and Ticks Facebook page. I am allowing like the word to get out and make so kids like like me won't have to go through it. They're working to improve Lyme disease awareness in Texas so the medical community and parents can recognize the warning signs. In some, but not all cases, a distinctive expanding bullseye rash like this develops after a bite. Early on, you may experience flu-like symptoms. Many of the symptoms are very similar to other illnesses. So it can be a little bit tricky. Lyme disease can be successfully treated with antibiotics when recognized early. The Maxwells know firsthand the cost of a delayed diagnosis. It's why this project is personal. No child should lose their childhood over a tick bite. You know, it just doesn't make sense. And prevention, of course, is key. So when spending time outdoors, make sure to treat clothing and camping gear with permethrin. It's used in insecticide sprays and shampoos to treat lice. You should also use common insect repellent. Carefully check your body and clothing for ticks. And pet owners should also do tick checks. So if you spot one, you use a fine tip tweezer to remove the tick and pull upward with steady, even pressure. And something they wanted to point out, they said this isn't about alarm, it's about awareness. And right now, Doug, on the Facebook page, there is an anonymous survey they're collecting data on ticks and tick bites here in North Texas. Yeah, and I think I was admitting to Gilma that I think many of us just kind of associate ticks with, you know, the woods of North Carolina right. or something like that, you know, kind of a big wooded rugged area, but they are here.